Okay. Those are the ones I can get. Welcome, Christina, to Heart to Heart podcast, and I'm very excited to have you here with us today. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. This is such an honor. So, um, Christina, I'm so I, I I mean I'm going to introduce my audience that you're my patient, of course. Um, <laughs> what, what was my patient? I mean, yeah, no longer needed me. <laughs> Maybe we still got more. Uh, uh, <laughs> we talked about that, Doctor. Right, I remember. <laughs> um, that's right. Um, so. Talk to us a little bit, um, or talk to me, um, remind me, because I know you, you told me something. I'm like, really? What's going on? How did you found me? Where did you, how did you come to me? So talk to me the story, how this whole okay, thing happened. And yeah. how, even before you saw me, because yeah. this whole point about this Heart to Heart podcast is to make the people, audience out there is like, you're not alone, because the journey is so tough, yeah. so stressful. And I always tell my patient, please, you're not alone. And this is really one of the goal why we're doing this. And yeah, tell us a little bit the struggle, the highs, the lows, how before you even found me. Yeah. So this is amazing because I believe in what you say totally. Like I, there is a community out there of women that really need to talk about this and be more open about it because, you know, the only way I got to you was through actually Facebook group. <laughs> To you, but beforehand, I mean, I think my story goes along the same, which is I came from a big name clinic that didn't understand me, didn't understand my body, didn't understand my needs. And um, I really felt it in my body that they didn't know what I was doing. And we had a, a first cycle, it was horrible. And I remember putting my story out there because I am a, a marriage and family therapist. So I'm big on talking and telling your story and getting women together and supporting one another. So I just let my story go. I was like, look, I'm at the time I was 42, turning 43. I'm like, I have DOR. I'm like, I need, <laughs> I just got married. When like, did you get married? What year? 20, I mean, when you October, were. 2019. Okay. Well, oh my God. Wait, that's before the pandemic. So yes. you still have your wedding, I guess. We had our wedding. We had a <laughs> bad, like one week before my wedding, we had a bad cycle. And then we oh. just gave ourselves a break. I was, why did you do a cycle before? Like, will you know that your fertility did? Why? Yes. I had a doctor, we, me and my husband were trying and the, then my doctor did ran some labs and I she was you. like, you have DOR, your, your AMH is 0.48. And I'm like, Okay, like, and we're just like racing to these places and we're like, you know, what are we gonna do? Did you guys even try natural? Of course, okay. we tried, we, okay. we were trying, <laughs> we tried a lot. <laughs> right. But um, yeah, so we found you and we- Through a Facebook group. Facebook group and we did our first cycle, it was February because after- Of 2020. 20. Because the so world, now pand oh, the world is changing, but not changed. The world closed down <laughs> like yeah, right, two actually. weeks before my retrieval. My retrieval, and then two actually weeks, the changed. World, yeah, I remember February. If we Google back to those New York City days, yes. when the entire subway, like the bridge, was going to shut down. Yes. Like it's just it's like Batman movie. Yeah, like <laughs> we literally like had the retrieval. I was resting, and then one week later, it was like, okay, like the world is shutting down. Like holy crap, Dr. Luke, what are we gonna do? Because we just did one cycle, Yes, which was amazing. We got two eggs and we made embryos. You called me up and you were like, listen, hold off on them. We're not gonna push them. We're just gonna keep them as a day three. And I was like, okay, Dr. Luke, like you're, you're, it's your call. But when I, but I have to say something too. When I first came to your office and I met you, you said the craziest thing to me. Uh, what did I say? You said, you sat me down and you said, how many kids do you want? <laughs> okay. And I thought that you were crazy. You know why? Why? Because if I thought about it later after I was talking to you, and I know we come from like the same school because like we're big researchers. Right, right, and right. And this talk that we have, right, like right, we right. can understand each other. And I was like, well, I understand what she's saying. It's not about how I, if I wanted two kids, you can get me there. I, we just didn't know how we we're going to get there. Yes. But I do ask that questions generally. Yeah. But that, that is true. But I do want to know what is your thinking. Some people say five kids to me. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> and then, but the thing was, is that I was coming from this clinic who told me 
the only way I could have an uh, children were through donor eggs. And that okay. was it. Uh, so you did one cycle and that was the verdict. With, what, 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 because you did one cycle before, right? Before you saw me. With the big clink. Yes. yes. And then we came to you. And then, but they already told you it's not looking good. Because yeah. what, and what happened Tell the, like, to the embryo? Like they were looking for testing, always testing yes. around me. So they, you didn't even make it to testing, correct? Or you? No, I it. did. We had we had uh, one abnormal we, or we, no? They p- pumped me up with drugs. It was okay. like four fifty gonna left, and then when you heard that, you passed out. And <laughs> what I told you the yes, story. Yes, on the image. Yeah. yeah, and then we don't do that here. Yeah, okay. yeah, yes, 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 yeah. When I yeah, no way. Um, they pumped me up for meds. It was a horrible cycle. I had like eight follicles. But I don't know why the retrieval day, and then you found out later, is that I ovulated early, but I only came out of that cycle with two eggs, Mm -hmm. and one made it to day seven. We did a PGD test. Well, still made it to day seven. Yes. Yeah, because I I forgot, like, did we make it to blast? And you did. Yes, that was. But it's day seven. Day seven, but it was abnormal. Okay. So then I said to you, when I came to you, I was like, I don't want to test, because I don't. That's right. And so this is very important. This is where the dialogue starts, and I am lots of patients... Um, ask me day three still versus day five, we, yeah. which we're going to tell them the ending and yeah. get the suspense. <laughs> uh, the blast is um, tested. So there are only three types, guys. Day three, day five, blast, uh, well, day three, blast is untested and blast is tested. There's right. only three types of embryos. There are embryos that are day one, but not to confuse Christina and the other the audience, but right. there are places that do that. But is day three, day five, uh, blast is untested or a tested blast is. So, I this is a difficult conversation, right? Christina is from a so I'm just going yeah, you, yeah, you yeah, yeah. from a patient perspective, from a yeah. doctor perspective. Yeah. It's all about free talking now. <laughs> uh so amazing. It's four years ago, Christina, I can't believe this. Um it is so I will had to, and I'm still having those conversations every each day with our patients. So this is very honest and some of you who are currently my patient will be watching oh yeah I just had this conversation at Dr. Luke's office yeah <laughs> that's right um, it is hard because I know from all the big centers around me testing is very important it's the gold standard um, but I also know in my heart after 12 years of practicing yes Christina I'm getting old too um, <laughs> it is a very um, it's not true for everyone right and yes uh, before even Christina arrived I have seen it where they would come from IVF center, and I know Christian only did one, but I have patients did five, yeah. six, four IVF cycles, and abnormal embryo, abnormal or no embryo, even more fascinating, no embryo to blast. Mm-hmm. And so they would have three cycles of nothing and one uh, or two blasts out of five cycles, and it was abnormal, and they came to me now, either go for donor or go for a different alternative therapy. And, and so then the question is, do we do day three? versus untested blastocysts versus tested blastocysts. Now, th- th- there's no wrong answer. I right. told Christina that. Uh, I said there's no, it, it can be, but overall blastocysts implantation rate is over than day three. No, duh. It's like, I, I may have even used my runner um, analogy. I always do that. <laughs> I say you run to midtown versus run all, well, I mean, from uptown to midtown, or you want the runner who goes all the way downtown to go to represent for Olympics. Obviously someone who run, 100 blocks instead of 50 blocks to be more energetic, right? So the, the last was is more resilient than day three. Right. Uh, tested, not tested, very personal. I yeah. also told Christina that two types of patients, I make them do testing. People who keep on having miscarriages, mm-hmm. kind of weird. Why Why come to me if you're not doing testing, just mm-hmm. have sex at home and eventually maybe get pregnant. And, right. and then second type is lots of, lots of eggs. Like my patient with 20 eggs, perfect story for everyone. Oh. 10 blasts. <laughs> I would love that. Yeah, story. I know. Um, <laughs> but I was like, Christina, are you this or you that? And then she's like, no, Dr. Luke, and I really don't want testing. Um, it didn't turn to a good outcome. It was day seven, blastocysts. And um, and I truly think science and plants and anything, not everything is meant to be. Correct. But if you look at 100, if I just do a daily, just look at 100 people day three, and 100 people, of course, the tested group is the best group. You don't need to do a research. Better than the blasters is better than day three. But is it good for everyone? The answer is no, because there are people that may not make it. And then majority of doctors, and I do say the same thing, if it doesn't make it, oh, it may not make it in your womb. Mm -hmm. However, there are patients who are doing the second, third, fourth, fifth 
you just cannot have the same answer every time. Right. And so then you have to change, is there something better to do? So right. anyway, sorry about my day three. Since I'm using, sorry, Christina, I'm gonna have to use you for my episode, you know, patients like, oh, is it day three? I like, listen to my episode. <laughs> but it was, it, it, you have one of the many stories that is true. It's right. A, anyway, let's not tell you guys the ending yet. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. so what happened, Christina, after that? And then what happened COVID? So I was wearing, what happened during, oh my yeah, God. so you did one cycle. So we did one cycle. The place is closing. The place is closing. Well, Generation just, in our, next is not closing. <laughs> Let's no, just but put New that York out City there. Was closing. <laughs> New York City is closing. There was no like, what was that? Describe to me. I forgot. Like when we, so we we call each other because I was also canceling transfers. Right, 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 right. And then because at you that had time, to abide by what was, was happening. It, yeah, like by what's yeah, 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 right. And everything like that. So it was, but then I was trying to look at literature because right. I want I just I don't want to be illegal opening right. up for it but but they were discounted but there's no rules there's no law saying you cannot do procedures because right. people diminish when reserves like how many more months patients yeah. have and so exactly yes. that's so, what all we were talking about it's like women like us who are like over 40 we're like what do we do time is running out we have the world shutting down everything and we, shutting we don't know how when COVID right that was a deadly it was it was like sweeping the entire yeah city I mean we're not yes they I, I yes yeah and do you live in the city where did you live no I lived in Queens at the time so what you, you travel to see we traveled wow so subway was empty I bet I didn't even go on this. Oh, subway. subway. <laughs> yeah, <everyone> was, <laughs> <laughs> like we had to think about this right like it was like all right well, 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 the door shut, right? The next one where was like, we have to keep on going. You're, you're open. You're like, we're gonna keep going. I was the Uno woman. Just wanted audience. I was well, the Uno we, listen, woman. First I of was all, the one woman, one MA. It was some big balls. Shout out to you. <laughs> like mad props to Dr. Luke and their team because. Those times were scary. That's frontline work. Like we all had a piece of what was happening in our lives, but that was like, holy macaroni. Like she's there and she showed up with this dark Vader <laughs> like mask and it was and so accident. scary. Yes. And I was like, okay. I'm like, I'm here with like <laughs> 10 masks and I'm like, oh, how am I? This and is I was scary breathing, too. Like, I, I love that you, like I was like, <laughs> He's like, all right, Christina, what are we gonna do? Oh, I'm like, I don't know, Dr. Luke. I don't know <laughs> yeah. what I'm hormonally available for. <laughs> and I was, um, so, you know, not to criticize anyone, I was oh. the only doctor really on, I think in that building. Yeah. But it was the safest, by the way. Because it there's was no cool one, there's at the no same <laughs> time, because in New York City, it was like a movie. It was like when New York City shuts down or like there was this movie of a monster. Like, I don't know. It was just completely Yeah, there was some empty. movie like that where the entire Times Square was just yeah. empty. No cars, no trains. Not, it was, well, there are trains, that's how, but the subway was totally empty. But it is a scary time. And I was also looking at support from like American, you know, like what can, but there's no support is what do you think is right? Right. And I felt that was right. And to review something I never tell Christina this, my husband's a cardiologist. So obviously, as you guys may have heard during that time, dermatologists, cardiologists, it has to get to the front line. Yeah. So, and then there's no Tyvek. You should be like, wow, doctor, we have a Tyvek. Do you remember they were running short, the no yes, gloves? Yes, everything. Um, and I had to order it from like um, Asia, like Hong Kong, my, my one of my uncle is the director of the hot so she had his center because it was running running out there was nothing and for me to safely because we didn't know how deadly this this disease so I just tie back my staff got tie back. there's only one staff actually one nurse one MA yeah um and we strive on we I, did, did, we, did we do a retrieval around that time we too? did we did one in that? April oh my god and we okay. got two and we were like and you were like this one we're gonna push to day five and I was like okay Dr. Luke so we pushed to day five and I think one one survived the other one did it so right right we're at the second cycle already yes because I said to you I want 10 <laughs> I want 10 embryos and then we're just gonna have a party we're gonna throw them and see what happens but yeah we kept on going Did and you? there was sad cycles too yes there was sad. yeah there was not like nothing. all worked it like there was nothing I there, have to Christina. titrate with Christina's like body cycle different uh, again guys uh, I love those 20 eggs come you they can I mean I love to take them too but they can go anywhere quite honestly like they should get pregnant with like 15 eggs 20 eggs <laughs> with 10, eight you ploy, you know, I, I've seen that too, I love it. I'm like, thank you, it's one yeah. way, no need to think too hard. So Christina, tell me, because you have lots of personal journeys. So we that, did that 2019, 
we didn't do mm. the transfer until later, but that was also you going through a lot also with your personal life and there was yeah. COVID. The, we, we went through the whole so, thing with COVID from so, the peak to the vaccine. So we, it was so funny. My last, I told you, I said, I wanted a bank for a year and December 26th was my birthday. I was turning 44 and we got, for some reason that cycle, we got miracle eggs. We got eight. Yes. It was like weird because we they at the luteal phase, and then you're like, we're gonna do a duo stim, and I'm like, okay, we're gonna keep going. Oh, luteal phase, yep. And, and it was really trick. cool. Like, what another place trick. can you go in, like have a retrieval? You got one egg, and then still stim seven days later and get four more. Yep. And that's what we did. Wow, you remember everything. Oh, that's I have true. everything on Excel <laughs> sheet because I was tracking everything because I'm like I'm a researcher, right? Like I I I was like I have to figure this out like you know there's a rhythm here and uh, this was my madness right because this is how I do things but yeah and then we we were done January and then you know I got what year was that now then 2020 um 2021 2021 and then I got so a year and a half we were you I, I did, did it the whole did, I did the whole thing for a year and then um I was waiting to to for my body to recover so we could do like for the, we started the transfers and then I got uh, really the worst news of my life, which was my mother got COVID mm. and she passed away um, February 13th. Uh, it was the most, it still is the most hardest time of my life uh, to lose a mother and try to still be in the journey oh of becoming God. a mother. Um, you know, one of the things, and I remember calling you and telling you, I was like, you know, one of the most beautiful things, because she saw me with the struggle every day of like doing all these cycles, she would say to me, you know, I would I would give up my life so you could have a baby. Oh my God. And yes. it's about a mother's pain, like doesn't want to see you go through that. And I was, um, I had to go to Florida uh, because uh, that's where she was living at the time. And uh, there was no vaccines yet. Uh, so I had to take a chance to go down there and, and she was one week away from the vaccines being rolled out oh. because I don't know if you remember January, they were rolling out really early. Um, and it was really hard. I spent uh, all the way till May there uh, helping my father and adjusting and going through the trauma of that. And I guess it was a time to like, I guess, reset my body in a way and reset my mind. And I had to really push myself to go through with the rest to say, you know, whatever is going to happen is going to happen. Because, you know, I think in this fertility world, you got to give boundaries. This is where my therapist hat comes in. But you got to give yourself boundaries because it's like I have to say to myself or I should say me and my husband should say, you know, we're going to do it till this timeline or we're going to say, you know, we're going to do this for a year. We're going to try it and whatever happens, happens. And then from there we can go and think about the next options, right. which were like donor eggs or whatever the next options, because it goes back to your question, right? Like how many kids you want? And me and my husband knew we wanted to be parents. We didn't know that how we were going to get there, but we wanted the opportunity to at least try and give ourselves uh, this place. And um, I have to give him a big shout out, right? Because he was amazing during yes. this journey. Like such, uh, such a, it was such an honor to. I to still have, have I still have preference for the women to get most of the credit. Sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. I said women's health doctor. I'm like <laughs> guys, you guys just. But it's true. They get very emotional. I didn't know they go through the journey as much. Depend on the guy also, the culture. Yeah, and also, there's a lot um, in there, they, but they. But they do go through it. I see the stress and, but they don't usually express to me. They yes. don't usually, they, and I don't see them because they just go to the collection room sometimes. Right, and I only right. see it when certain, only certain partner, they come and I want to speak to you, Dr. <laughs> then, um, not all of them, not all of them. So, um, yeah, he's wonderful. He's, he's, he's really took the journey and really wanted to be a part of it any way he can, like whatever it was. So, um, and then when you come back, I didn't know this happened. I don't know when this, this really touches my heart deeply. And I may, I may not share with you, um, share with Christina. My mom was also diagnosed breast, uh, I did yeah. breast cancer. Um, so I couldn't go back to Hong Kong and um, I had to practice, you know, the patients and it was one of the toughest times. So I was also, you know, sharing some of my journey, you know, it's not easy. And uh, also I'm with you in your, like a warrior yes, with you to yes. go and get that, get that baby and so it was also a path that 
Um, I, I I get very I, I sweat I don't sweat in front of you guys but I do sweat a little bit. Okay, we got all this embryo shit. Listen to me, we got this now. How? And I just like please, nature, God, <laughs> get me her the baby out of all these embryos. Yeah. And um, we did some testing. I usually I told you about the garden. We went through the garden. The uterus is the yeah, garden. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. And yes. Everybody, so I'm sorry. like, what testing? Yeah, what was what, the garden? <laughs> um, and um, and then we transferred the untested blast. Right first, do we first we did me... uh first we did two day fives. Yeah, didn't work. It didn't work. They didn't work. I came back crying even more. I was like, I oh, that know. was a hard call. I still remember every call. <laughs> and so she goes, then you're like, let's just do your day threes, and I'm like, okay. And at this point, I was like losing hope because I'm like, I got ten who didn't. I'm like doing the countdown. Right, there were two blasts as transfer. There were two four. We we did we did four. Are we allowed to say that? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can say whatever you want. It's about you, so I'm fine. Yeah. Yes. The second transfer, you go. Let's do two day threes, and I was like, no, Doctor Luke, four. And then you're like, are you sure? And I'm like, put the four day threes. What are they going to be there in the bank for? Let's just. Okay, it. but wait. I think you have four. Did we have four blasts? Is two blasts? Is transfer? The two were. Um, do you, do day two blasts? Two blasts. Yes. Day because I was. I thought you had two blasts and then two blastuses. You have four blastuses, no? Altogether, I have 10 embryos. Yes, so there okay. was two and two. I thought maybe. Four, there was four day threes and six day fives. Yes. So we took the two of the group of day five. And then the second one, I thought we took another two. I no, thought, no, that was one transfer. two day fives. Okay, got you. It was a five AB and a five BB, I think. I, and I then, I then the right second about. one where we did the. But I thought it was devastated three. because now we have a really heart to heart. I'm like holding. Yeah, we didn't hold hands, but your <laughs> husband and you, and we look at each other like we failed the best embryos that I ever had. Yeah, which are the blastuses. Now what? And I like, well, we have you. day three. Yeah, right. <laughs> so we have the day threes. It's like, oh, doctor, look at day threes. You said day threes. You're like, let's just do the day threes. They're the yes. younger ones. And I'm like, how do we know it's younger? You're like, it's the younger ones. It's the first two day threes we pulled out from the first. <laughs> during COVID. During co Before COVID, the world shut. So we put them in. Two, four day threes. Yes. And drum roll. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> they all took. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait! You, you tell the story, you because I remember you told me. Oh yes, you go ahead. Please they all it. took. You call your what, what? Three took. No, so they all a, took. But then two remaining. So two, okay, okay. One so, split. You don't think one split? How would you know they all took? Okay, you said they all took because you looked at Mark, uh, Marcos, my <laughs> husband's face, and you're like, "Are you okay?" And then you're like, "This is the part where you have to be cautiously optimistic." And Mar Marcos is like. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was four. Okay, fine. So I, I, but I thought three, and then one day the third. So the fourth. Okay. Like just vanished. Yeah. And right. Then we were set with three. Right. Then the third. So it's not all talk. All talk means that quadruplets, my friend. You. Okay. Yes. No. no. Oh. The third. Well, we don't know. We don't point. know at that point. At that point. Yes. Because they're so. It's like transfer <laughs> yeah, the, day. Yes, it's, it's like early. it's like they're so. Yeah. Well, right? the pregnancy day. Yeah. You. The, yeah. So the other. Yeah, it's fussy. Sorry, our memories. <laughs> it's like we're trying, <laughs> who said what? And then. Then we had triplets. And well, but we don't know if one embryo split, right? Or we no, know it it's three. Split. It is split. So then only two out of four take. Well, because they're four day three embryos. Four day three embryos. So to two stuff. So we got four. One fell off the ladder. Then we had three, and the third one split into identical. Right. Okay. But they weren't growing. Yes. So I had to go straightly to a MFM. Yes. And then that one, they vanished. Yeah, they I vanished. Was left with That's two. That's right. Yes. Yes. Fine. Got you. <laughs> wow. The third one split. Yes. Like crazy, um, and we were left with two. So cute, and those are my twins. Yeah, we're my gonna post your, your cutest baby pictures. Yeah, we'll my miracle them. twin boys, um, Lucas and Mateo. They, they're amazing. I couldn't believe um, it happened, and I found out I was pregnant and I was due on Mother's Day. If that's not a sign from my mom, and then you said something. Do you remember you said my mo uh, my mommy give me blessings and maybe become the new life that yeah that's why we got twins yeah yeah she she ha she has a funny character i'm sure she gave me twins so i wouldn't think about her pain so and trust me i haven't thought well i of course i've thought but it's they've been 
such, uh, it's been such a joy, um, it's such a beautiful blessing. I mean, uh, statistically, Dr. Luke, what's the statistics of a 44 year old with um, biological twins? Well, at the age of, <laughs> not 44, you were 43, you know, we got a little bit higher, but you're right. It's about 45. I gave birth at 45. Oh, you 45. think they're four? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, we do able to have, I, and I told you that with 10 s stories of you, three or four would not need, to, if 10 of you people tell you donate egg, come to Generation X, yeah. four out of 10 or three out of 10, depending on how many cycles you do, will go home with a baby. Yeah. yeah so I haven't changed much. <laughs> I just want to double check that I didn't say the wrong number. But um, it's about 10 to, some centers may even go lower, but I do tell patients 10 to 15%, but you know, why four of 10 is depend on how many cycles you do. Christina did do many cycles, but it's fascinating. We took, if, the, if your memory is right, I'm going to double check. That means we got them during COVID. The two day threes were from the first batch of COVID. The other day threes were from other ones. Cause I remember some Yeah, but we don't know which one right now. We don't know what cycle they were from. Cause there were some that were immature and you were like, oh, we'll just, you know, see what happens. Right, and right. you're like, maybe we should just freeze, freeze that one to day three. And then, so, out of my, I think it was four cycles, I got four day threes. Yeah, four cycles. from between whatever those were. So, Christina, I know we're wrapping up now. So, I Boo. want you to know. I, uh, <laughs> we'll get more stories. We'll do part two. If you have another part two story. Yeah. Um, what is the take home message for our audience who is struggling with this, who has went through the ups and downs, maybe not as bad or maybe as not as, you know, as good, wherever it is during your journey, what's the biggest take home me me uh, message for them? Uh, so many. Um, I guess number one is like just, we all have like this beautiful internal compass with intuition and we need to follow it. We need to follow like your body, what you want. I mean, advocate for yourself. I mean, really push yourself to talk to your doctors. If you don't feel comfortable with a doctor, that's, you know, it's, it's really about your journey and your story. Like, this is my story. I chose to narrate the way I wanted to narrate it. You know, I wanted to, you know, take the opportunity to give my body a chance so I could say to myself, okay, in a year I did all I can and then we can move on to the next step. But luckily enough, you know, I didn't have to move on. You know, I got my miracle babies. Um, and to just keep talking to women out there, it's so much, there's so many women open there. I've been such a portal for a lot of women as women have reached out to me to come to you and, and just passing on that place to know that we're there for you, we're, we're reaching for you, we are, we're here to support. It's not an easy road, it's very hard, there's a lot of rejection, there's a lot of you know disconnection to yourself, to your body, your husband sometimes, your partner, even if mother of choice are doing it. Um, so I really think it's important just to talk, just talk and tell your story, so and that's why I'm here. Well, Christina, thank you for coming. And yeah. you, you guys, are, you are really a true warrior. I know how much you have gone through emotionally and physically and everything during those times. And you triumph. And here we are with yeah. the two little, how are the babies? They're okay? They're good. They're 14 months. They're running. They're healthy. They're beautiful. I mean, it just, the journey has been amazing. Um, yeah, we're just, they're just two beautiful blessings. I just can't even, I look at them and I'm like, sometimes I, don't, I feel like someone just brought a, a <laughs> stork. Cause I, that, you know, through the IVF, it, there's so much to hold on to. You're like, okay, pregnant. Is there a fetal pole? Is there a heartbeat? <laughs> I, Is, I know. Are we making it to 12 weeks? Are we making it to the next step? Is a But you lot. had a vaginal delivery, right? No, C-section. C-section. Yeah, C-section. So 36, you had to calculate 30, 37 they, and three. They date, okay. They went 37, three. No new Q, beautiful boys, just, ah, uh, what can I say? Thank you, Dr. Luke. No, thank you for coming. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Okay. All right.